You know, if this debate had been held five years ago, I probably would have been arguing for the other side. You see, I'd spent my career at the National Institutes of Health studying the effects of different nutrients on the human body, things like swapping carbs versus fat, how that affects people with obesity. And then I heard about this new categorization of foods called the NOVA categorization system that basically said, nutrients, you guys are living in the dark ages. That's not interesting. That's not important anymore. It's really about the purpose and extent of processing. And I thought that was nonsense. It was anti-science, it seemed like to me. You know, of course it's about nutrition, right? Nutrition and nutrients, like, duh, those things are related. And so, you know, I asked the folks, I'm particularly interested in obesity, what is it that you think about these ultra-processed foods that's causing obesity? And they said, well, it's the salt, the sugar, and the fat, and the low amounts of fiber. And I said, aha, you just named a bunch of nutrients. You can't have it both ways. The debate is over. Well, you know, scientists can't be satisfied with just a win on a rhetorical debate. One of the things that we could actually do is design an experiment. And so that's what I did. Uh, we, with my colleagues at the NIH, we designed an experiment where we brought in 20 men and women to live with us at the NIH Clinical Center for a month. And we designed two diets that were matched for the salt, the sugar, the fat, the fiber, the carbs. We asked people, uh, we randomized them to two groups. One group started a very highly ultra-processed food that was matched for the salt, the sugar, the fat, and the fiber. And another group ate a, a diet that had 0% ultra-processed food. Basically asked them, eat as much or as little as you want. And after two weeks, we swapped them. And basically, the idea was, if it was about the nutrients, then there should be no difference in how many calories these people ate. And I would be right once again. However, I was drastically wrong. When these people were eating the ultra-processed diet, despite being matched for these nutrients of concern, they ate 500 calories per day more. They gained weight and they gained body fat. Whereas when they were eating the other diet, the unprocessed diet, they were losing weight and losing body fat. So now we don't know what the mechanism of that is. And as a scientist, I'm happy to be proven wrong. The science showed that there is something about these ultra-processed foods that cause people to overeat and gain weight. Now we're trying to figure out what is the mechanism because this category of ultra-processed food is very wide. And if we can figure out what the mechanisms are, then we can give some information about how to avoid them, how to reformulate potentially ultra-processed foods. But right now, we simply eat too much. Mm -hmm.